In this video, I'm going to show you adjusting the zoom centers in Reaper. Now, what I'm talking about when adjusting the zoom centers is what happens when we zoom in horizontally and vertically, what stays in the center of our screen, and what we can see at all times. We can adjust this in Reaper using our preferences. So let's go up here to the options menu and go down and choose preferences. And that opens up this dialog where we can adjust the zoom centers in Reaper. We'll scroll down to editing behavior and right over here, we can change our zoom centers, the vertical and horizontal zoom center. Let's start off with the vertical, which is up and down. By default, the track at the center of view is always going to stay in our view. So if we zoom in vertically, notice this base track is in the middle. If I use page up to zoom in or page down to zoom out, the base track always stays in view. Or if I scroll down so the guitar is in the center of view, page up, it stays in the center, and page down, it keeps that track in the center of our view. And it's the same way if we use our mouse wheel or our trackpad. If I zoom in, hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac, and adjust my mouse wheel, this track, which is in the middle of view, always stays in view. Zoom out the same way. If I scroll up so the drums are in the center of my screen, either page up or page down keeps that track always in view. Or if I use the mouse wheel, control on the PC, command on the Mac, it's the same thing. The drums always stay in view. But we could change that behavior in the preference. We could change it to the top track in view. Choose this, hit OK. And now the top track that we're seeing is always going to stay in view. In this situation, it's the vocal. So if I zoom in with page up, my vocal always stays in view. And we zoom out with page down, it's the same thing. And if we put my drums on the top of our view, I can zoom in with page up or page down. We'll use the mouse wheel, control on the PC, command on the Mac, we zoom in, and we always see our drums. Zoom out or in. And we could also change it to the last selected track. Choose this, hit OK. And now, if we select any track, like the drums, and then zoom in with page up or page down, the drum track always stays in view. Zoom back out, or we could choose the bass track, do the same thing with our mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out, and it focuses on or always keeps that track in view. We could choose this guitar, do the same thing, and that guitar track always stays in view or the center of our screen. But we could also change it to my favorite, track on the mouse cursor. I prefer this one because we can just move our mouse or cursor to any track we want to focus on. So I put it on the drums, page up, and it zooms in centered on the drums. Do the same with the bass. And we could do it with a mouse wheel as well. Control on the PC, command on the Mac, zoom in, and it keeps that guitar in view. So I find that to be the most flexible of choices. But by default, it's set up to be the track center of view. But of course, you could change it right here. Now over here, we have the horizontal zoom center, which works a similar way, but horizontally, left and right. It defaults to the edit cursor or play cursor, so if I put my cursor right here, this area of a window will always be in view. So if I use the keys plus or minus on my keyboard or numerical keyboard, I can zoom in and it centers it based on the edit cursor or play cursor. So I can zoom in or out and it's based on or centered where the cursor is. Put the cursor right here, zoom in or zoom out. We use the mouse wheel as well. Put the cursor right here, mouse wheel up to zoom in 
and it always keeps that cursor in view. Zoom out, mouse wheel out, do the same to any area of our track based on where the edit cursor or play cursor is. Zoom in or out. But again, we could change it right here. We could just choose the edit cursor, which will ignore the play cursor, or we could also choose the center of view. And if we choose that, it's based on the center of our screen, which is right about here. So if we zoom in with plus or minus keys, it zooms based on that center of our screen. Zoom out, use the mouse wheel instead, right about here, and it zooms in based on that area of our screen. But again, my personal favorite is the mouse cursor, which works the same way as the vertical zoom center. Choose this, hit OK. Now if we put our cursor right over here, it's gonna zoom in horizontally based on where we placed the cursor. We can use the plus or minus keys and readjust it along the way. So this area where the mouse is always stays in view. Maybe go over here, do the same thing. Or use the mouse wheel instead. Put my cursor right here, use my mouse wheel to zoom in. And this area always stays in view. Over here, or over here. So it's based on where we place our cursor. But again, by default, it uses the edit cursor or the play cursor. So if you prefer one of the other choices, just change it here, hit OK, and it'll work with that preference chosen. So in this way, we can customize the zoom centers or how we prefer to work. So that's pretty much it. That's adjusting the zoom centers in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.